Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and I uh, wanted to talk about one of the things that comes back regularly in the past few days and it's probably something that is uh, constant. There's always a couple of these um, comments or questions about video playback in Windows and a lot of it has to do with either the video playback uh, you know, stuttering or the video playback isn't going right or looks weird, has weird artifacts or colors. Very often shows up as green and people are always confused and asking, well, you know, why is it that it does that? Why is it that my video playback is no good? A lot of it has to do with in almost every um, problems with the video driver. If the video card or the GPU of your system doesn't have the latest drivers, over time, software might actually behave weird because they might have new technologies or new ways of using your GPU, your graphics processor, to display a video. Having an old video driver might actually create problems with newer software. Uh, you might be in a place where, you know, it used to work, but it suddenly, suddenly start, stopped working after maybe the uh, software that you're using to video playback, like VLC, for example, um, got an update. Uh, or it could even be through a Windows update because something has changed in the way that the video processing is done. So one of the first things to know is what is your graphics GPU or graphics processor that the computer has. So you can, of course, right click on the start button in Windows 10 and Windows 11 and go to the device manager. In the device manager here, you will, of course, have in your list of adapters, a display adapters. And this is where you want to check out. So note down the name of your display adapter. First of all, here it's an Intel Iris Graphics 6100 on this old system. Um, and when you double click and go to driver, you might actually see the date of the driver. So you see here, this is a very old driver, uh, dates back six years on this machine. Now on this machine, I don't believe there is any other updates. I m might have to check, but I don't have video playback issues. So, you know, I often keep the drivers there if nothing wrong is going on the system. But take note, take note of the driver. If the driver is more than two years old, what you will want to do is try to find an update. So what you could do is click the update driver within Windows, first of all, and click search automatically for drivers. This is going to check out if there's some drivers. You can search for updated drivers on Windows Update, and that will, of course, appear in the Windows Update here. Sometimes in the optional updates, when you go and check out driver updates. So the optional updates might be here. So here you see I've got some updates for drivers. So there are newer drivers for my system for pretty much everything. So you can actually um, keep your system up to date with all of these drivers. So if you do see these drivers, the optional drivers like this, including here, my Intel display has a driver, which is 2017. It's not that much, um, you know, closer in the driver, but it's still an updated driver. So it's something to try for. If nothing like that appears, if there's no driver updates of any kind in this uh, system, what you'll want to do is go to the manufacturer of your PC. If it's a built PC from HP, Dell, Lenovo, Acer, whatever, Go to your manufacturer website, find the exact model of your computer. And in there, you will see drivers in the support section of the website. Check if you have a updated driver that has a newer date than the one that you have seen here. This is another way to check it out. In the case of a built system, maybe somebody built the system for you or it's a custom built system by a small, you know, computer computer store, things like that, what you'll want to do is go directly to the manufacturer sometimes of the 
graphics adapter. For example, here it's Intel Corporation. So you would go to the Intel website and search for Intel Iris Graphics 6100 and see what drivers they have. And they often have updated drivers of their own. But make sure your graphics GPU is at the latest update. It's the way that you're going to be able to have perfect video playback. Even if the graphics adapter is old, if it has an update that is able to apply to your system, do it and check out if it changed anything on the video playback. Last but not least, if video playback is slow, stuttering, so on, one thing you might want to do is do a complete clean install of Windows. If your system has not been reinstalled in a long time, it could be some form of stuttering because of uh, either some uh, files on the system that could be corrupted or simply because your Windows isn't behaving like it used to because it's been, you know, you've been doing a lot of things. You've installed install software, there were a lot of updates and it can actually slow down Windows over time. So a fresh install might actually make everything come back to normal on the playback. And another tip, if you're using a specific software to playback video, say VLC, why not try to play the video in uh, something else? For example, you could try to, you know, a Windows Media Player, or there's Downpot Player, that's another video player. Um, sometimes one software might not work well, but another will actually work perfectly to play uh, a certain type of video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.